Good morning and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a get ready with me for a bat mitzvah. It is a very exciting morning around here because we are getting ready for my husband's cousin's bat mitzvah. So I thought I would take you guys along and just like do a little get ready with me routine but also just share more about farm bat mitzvahs in general, maybe my bat mitzvah if we have time to reminisce. Um, and yes, yeah, so I just thought that would be fun. The only hard part is I'm also getting three little boys ready to go to this bar mitzvah. <laughs> but my husband here, he's helping. He's actually bathing them right now. If you can hear the water, I'm in my closet. And I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to wear. Okay, so this is the dress I'm going to wear to synagogue. Um, I think it's inside out right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's by the brand Seven State. My mother-in-law actually, mother actually got it for me, I think for my birthday. It's really pretty. The sleeves are, what's it called? Translucent, that's not the word. Um, you know what I mean, a little bit see-through. Um, and then the dress is just long and black. I often get asked what's appropriate to wear to synagogue, and one of the things is to dress nice, and the other is to dress just a little bit modest, so you don't have to like be fully covered, depending on which kind of synagogue you're going to. But we're going to a conservative synagogue, so I just want to make sure my shoulders are covered, not too much like cleavage showing, that sort of thing, and the dress can really be any length, but I mean, let's be honest, I'm not going to be wearing a short dress to synagogue or any other time. Um, so that dress is long, and the sleeves are long, but it's also winter. But before I can get dressed, I gotta do my hair and my makeup, so let's go do that. Okay, let's start this get ready with me. I am starting with the poor professional. I don't look at like just like the old YouTubers um, from Benefit. I usually do not wear very much makeup at all. You guys have probably noticed um, day to day. I also used to be or still sort of am one of those people that just like doesn't really believe in skincare. <laughs> like I feel like the more you do, the more you need to do because like your skin gets used to it kind of thing. So I'm very, very minimal about it and um, just like to put on some like creams and moisturizers, but that's about it. But as I am getting a little bit older, I might, I was, I was dabbling in maybe doing a little bit more. Um, I've also never had a facial in my entire life. I've never wanted to. But now I'm like, should I try it? <laughs> okay. Pores are done. Usually day to day I just use this CC cream from Super Goop. Um, but I don't even think I'm going to do that today because it is raining. Which is a little bit of a letdown because I was hoping to take a nice family picture outside, but I guess we'll just do it inside. Oh, sorry, I am doing a little bit of bronzing with the Chanel Lace Beige. <laughs> I have no idea what it's called. <laughs> this one. Um, I apologize to any makeup gurus that might be watching being like, what in the heck is she doing? <laughs> this is just what I do. This is just my routine. A little bit of bronzer. Okay, so let's talk about bat mitzvahs. The last bat mitzvah, I, I double checked on my camera roll. The last bar mitzvah we went to, getting crazy out there, is um, my nephew. So I have twin nephews and they had a bar mitzvah in August of 2022, so two years ago-ish. And then um, oh, also, um, and then I just do like a little bit under eye. This is Laura Mercier. Um, weightless perfecting concealer. I just do a little bit under my eyes, like over here, and any little spots, which I might like lean into the mirror to see because I'm old. Uh, anyway, so two years ago, we went to my nephew's bar mitzvah, and that same year, my other nephew in Chicago had his bar mitzvah. No, yes, oh my goodness, sorry, it's all blurring. And then I have a niece who's having a bat mitzvah in Chicago later this year so this is the year of the bat mitzvahs and i'm very curious i will definitely report back on like what's up with the teenagers these days like what's happening at the bar mitzvahs and um, bat mitzvahs like what are the kids wearing what are they doing i loved my nephew's bar mitzvahs um two years ago it was so cute what i loved most was um i obviously have this impression of teenagers that they're like the scariest humans on the planet <laughs> and um like not that 
obviously they would care about me and my kids because they're teenagers so they have better things to do with their lives but i was like oh like they're gonna be so intimidating and cool and mean and like i don't know i just had this crazy impression of teenagers and they were not like that at all they were like the sweetest kids and what i loved most oh i forgot to tell you uh the blush i'm using is just the elf this is like three dollars um camo liquid blush i love this you put on the tiniest amount and it goes so far um what i loved most was how supportive and kind and fun the kids were like i always get nervous like oh like no one's gonna want to dance no one's gonna want to participate you know like in any party you just you want people to have fun you don't want them to like stand around the side and not do anything so i was like nervous for my nephews <laughs> even though they probably could care less. I was like, oh my gosh, like, you know, what if nobody wants to have fun at the party? Just my own anxiety. Um, and they all were like dancing to everything up the whole time. So, so nice, so sweet, just like the sweetest kids. Um, for highlighter, I'm using the Laura Mercier, what is this one? Highlight 01. Um, so that was really cute to see. In terms of what they wore, you guys probably already know this, but the teen girls do not wear fancy shoes anymore. Did you guys know about this? They wear Nike Dunks <laughs> or Converse, even to like black dye <laughs> events. They, um, for my eyes, I'm using this new NARS palette. Look how gorgeous this is. Um, this is the Afterglow Irresistible Palette. Um, and I've been using the disposable things for eye stuff. I've just been so paranoid lately. Anyways, uh, where was I? Um, so the kids, oh my gosh, this is very hard to do in the camera. I don't know how you beauty people do it. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, by the way, the party for this bat mitzvah is tonight. So right now it's Saturday morning. We're getting ready for synagogue. And then we'll come home and rest and then we'll get ready for the party tonight. So this is always the question. Do you do your makeup again? Like do you take it all off and do it again? Or do you just like go with what's there and do your best to enhance it? But what I think I'm gonna do for the evening is add um, eyeliner for a more nighttime look. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh yeah, I was talking about what the girls wear. So they do not wear fancy shoes. None of that. Not none. Let me take that back. Some girls do, but it's just it's very common to see the um like a uh, casual shoe look, which is fun. Okay, for my eyebrows, I'm using the Anastasia of Beverly Hills. Um, oh, I don't know what this one is. Soft brown. It's there. It looks kind of like a mascara. This one. Guys, this is so hard to do in the camera. <laughs> but I like chatting with you. It's so fun. It's like when you have like a girlfriend over to get ready when you were in college and you were just getting ready for your night out. And that was always the most fun part of it. Ah! Anyways, let's reminisce about my bar mitzvah days, bar and bat mitzvah days. So I went to a private Jewish day school growing up and it was the rule ish that you had to invite everyone in the class to your bar bat mitzvah and my i switched schools from sixth grade to seventh grade so elementary school went to sixth grade at that time in the private schools and then seventh grade started middle school so my elementary school class which was 42 kids i think we had grown up like our whole lives together since preschool so we were gonna you were gonna invite like everyone from that class because they were all your like close friends and you had only just sort of left those kids right uh, when you were having your bar mitzvah, bar and bar mitzvah year in seventh grade and then i started the new school in seventh grade where we had to invite the whole class and that was a grade of like 75 or something 60 75 so just like without even trying i had over 150 bar and bar mitzvahs to go to in one year um and then there's also like family friends soccer friends all that kind of thing so the bar and bat mitzvah here was a crazy like i have never been that social in my life like i i there never will be a time where i'll go to that many parties every single weekend we had a bar and bat mitzvah if not three <laughs> and it was so fun um, for mascara, I'm using the Honest one. I love this. It's got the primer and the 
and the mascara on this side. Um, but like that's just never gonna happen again. <laughs> but it was so fun. Um, and we saw, you saw all your friends and of course like th that's the age where everyone has their crushes. And so it was like, are you gonna dance with them? Are you gonna like hang out with them in the corner? So I don't know if any of that still goes on. <laughs> also because back in those days you couldn't just like text the person you had a crush on. Um, so you had to wait for a golden opportunity like a bar bat mitzvah to, <laughs> you know, talk to them that wasn't like school. So that was also really fun. And then of course there was the dancing and often you would slow dance with someone that you liked. And I have no idea if that goes on anymore. I think at my, the bar, at the bar mitzvahs I recently attended, I feel like I didn't see too much like slow dancing, but I wasn't paying attention. I had like a six, three month old at the time, but I'll be a little bit more attention this time. Um, I will, you know what I'll do? I will do a recap at the end of this video tomorrow morning. <laughs> I was gonna say a hungover recap, but I will not be hungover. <laughs> do not worry, I will not be drinking. <laughs> Maybe a glass of champagne. Um, but no, I, we're going with my three kids, so I will mostly just be making sure they don't like knock over anything important. Oh, lip stuff. I'm doing the Charlotte Tilbury set. They had this like at the front at Sephora. I don't know what it is. It's like a lip liner and a gloss. Um, and then once I finish this, I just have to do my hair, get dressed, get three boys in their bar in their bar mitzvah suits, three boys in their synagogue suits, and out the door. Um, oh, kipo! I, I feel like I've gotten a lot of questions about the boys wearing kipo. They wear kippas in synagogue and two Hebrew schools. So like doing Jewish learning and prayer time. Um, so you often don't really see them wearing them. It's so nice for like Jewish holidays, but I also like leave it to them because my oldest like sometimes finds it uncomfortable. If it, they're like running around, they're really active and they're like falling off their head. If you guys actually have good recommendations for like the best bobby pins, I was gonna actually, oh yeah, I do have one here. I bought these no slip or no, no itch, no, no ouch, <laughs> um, keep a clips on Amazon and these are pretty good, but they're not perfect. So I'm still figuring out the keep a situation for them. Okay, so my makeup is done. You guys will probably look, wow, you look exactly the same. I keep it very minimal, very light, just a touch. Um, maybe when I move the camera, I'll just top it off a little bit because I can like not really see the mirror. But this was fun. I'm gonna dry my, blow dry my hair, straighten it, get dressed, get the boys dressed. I will give you guys a little look at what we all look like before we head out the door and then I'll check back in before the party tonight. I wanted to show you guys the bat mitzvah outfit. The only thing I haven't put on is a necklace yet because it's downstairs, um, but I'm gonna use the one with the boys Hebrew initials on it. Um, this is the dress. The sides are like, the sides, the arms are sheer, um, but it's, Fairly modest, of course. I'd say very modest. <laughs> um, and floor length, I am not wearing heels. I don't know if I ever will be able to again. <laughs> um, so just wearing these birdies. Um, and yeah, that's the look. Let's go to synagogue. Smile, smile. Baby! Okay, ready? Smile, Gory, nice smile. Smile, guys. Good job. Okay, we are ready to go. It is about 15 minutes before we have to actually get in the car, which is something I always do. Like, you will not find my family less than 15 minutes ready to get in the car because otherwise, there, you always have to buffer time with three little kids. You just have to. There's Something's going to happen. Someone's going to go to the potty. So we are always ready with more than enough time to slowly get in the car and then get somewhere because I don't like being stressed that we're going to be late. I feel like... Um, I don't know. That's just one of my like pet peeves. I really like to be on time, if not early. Um, and I really like to make sure my family is. And even though we have three kids and excuses, you can always get somewhere on time if you plan accordingly. That's what I say. Okay. So I wanted to show you guys what I'm bringing with for synagogue. What I got in the bag. I switched out my diaper bag to this one. This is one I used to always use. Um, but 
I have an Amazon bag now. I was gonna show it to you, but I have no idea where it is. The house is so messy right now from getting ready, which is nuts because it was really clean last night, but that's how it happens. Anyways, I went with this one to be a little bit nicer for synagogue. Before we even get to the bag, I have full, complete change of outfits. Oh, my camera battery's about to die. Hold on. Okay, I just switched to film on my phone for a second, which also is so interesting. Like, it's amazing how good the iPhone camera is even compared to like a very fancy camera. Okay, so I have a full change of outfits, nice outfits for the boys. Hold on, let me clean this lens. I have a full change of outfits for them just in case. I'm going to keep these in the car though. This is like really for an emergency. Um, then <laughs> we've got snacks. I've got ring pops and candies. Those are like the super high level special snacks. We've got books. They're each bringing a Pokemon book that they can read. Then in the bag, I have my littlest one's shoes because he always takes them off in the car. I have some fidget toys. These are like quiet little spinners. These are Rubik's cubes and they're new to them. They haven't seen them before. I have a bottle for the youngest because that will keep him quiet if need be for a good amount of time diapers and wipes i love i'm gonna link this for you guys this is a like a makeup thing from amazon i love it i have more fidget toys in here <laughs> um then i have my little makeup thing with you know totally random stuff and then snacks that is it that is all i have Hopefully that'll be enough to get us through two hours of services. <laughs> then we'll have lunch there and I'll come back. All right. Okay, we are back to getting ready for tonight. I'm, as I mentioned, I just left my makeup as it was. I'm just gonna add some eyeliner and then get these boys dressed and out the door. So I actually have two boys here with me right now watching TV and then my husband took my oldest to a birthday party <laughs> like could we make our lives any more crazy um but he had a birthday party this evening that's ending like right before the bat mitzvah party starts and <laughs> it's like around the corner from where the bat mitzvah party is so I was like let's just let him go to it um hold on let me do this in the mirror like let's just have him go to the birthday party but the other wrinkle with doing that is that um, that he and my husband have to get ready <laughs> at the birthday party for the bar mitzvah and it's a skating birthday party so of course it's like <laughs> the most complicated number of <laughs> changes you can do um, <laughs> but that's fine that's why I sent my husband on me I was like you have to take it bring your suit <laughs> They'll be fine, I'm sure. Um, so they're at the birthday party right now. I gotta get the little two dressed. Honestly, not sure who's got the harder job there. Um, but we complicated it even more because um, yesterday afternoon, <laughs> the boys, all three boys had a swimming practice, swimming, swimming class, makeup class thing, whatever. Anyways, and then my husband met us there later. So we had two cards at the swim place so that he could like, finish his work day and then meet us there. And then afterwards we picked up some food and we're like, well, let's just go in one car to pick up the food because it'll be quicker and everyone's hungry. And then like, you know, we want to get home for Shabbat. And then of course we completely forgot that we had left his car at the swimming place until literally 24 hours later when him and Max went to go get in the car to go to the birthday party. And he's like, uh, my car's not here. I was like, what? Where is it? <laughs> and I like couldn't figure out where it could possibly be. And I was like, oh my goodness, that's right. We left it at swimming. <laughs> so that was good. Um, so then it was like one minute before they had to leave for the party. They didn't have a car. So it was enough time for us to go get his car. So they Ubered <laughs> to the birthday party, which um, doesn't sound crazy, except that my son is still in a five-point harness car seat booster convertible whatever you want to call it so we had to um it's thankfully I, i'm gonna link it for you guys it's the three-in-one the transitions three-in-one car seat so we transitioned it really quickly into a booster which is fine to ride in just like normally i, I would put him in a five-point harness but um, so he's in, he had to ride in the booster because it was like too much 
my husband's already had his suit, all his dress up stuff, dress up stuff, all his stuff that he ate for the bar mitzvah, all my son's change of clothes for the bar mitzvah. I was like, I couldn't also have him take a whole car seat. <laughs> Is that crazy? <laughs> so that's just like five minutes of our life. Um, but we did it. We got it done. It's good to go. They're at the party. I'm ready to go. That's it. That's all I did. I added some, some of the blush again. Should I do a pop of highlighter? Did I already do it? I can't remember. I'll have to watch the footage back. I don't think so. Um, uh, pop of highlighter. Did my eyeliner. That's it. Oh, I didn't show you guys the outfit. It's the dress I told you I was gonna wear. And I'm pretty happy with it. I just wish I had... I just wish I had um, skin color tights. I only have black and it looks weird because I've got these shoes. So ideally I would have had skin color tights on because it's still only March 1st. <laughs> it's still a little cold and it just seems more, I don't know, seems more appropriate. Anyways, okay, wish me luck. I gotta get the little boys dressed. Reedy, how's your day going? How's all the bat mitzvah festivities? Do you want to go to the party? I know. No dogs allowed at the bat mitzvah. It's so unfair. He's going to hang out here. Okay. Got to get these little boys dressed and out the door. We also have to leave even earlier than we would have because we now have to go pick up Andrew and Max at the birthday party and fiddle with the car seat to get it back in my car. Oh, and we have family pictures once we get there, which we didn't know when initially when we said he should go to the birthday party. But then our cousins emailed us and we're like, do you wanna do family pictures? We're like, sure. So, yep. Oh, and I wanna eat something because It is the next day, and I realized, of course, I forgot to end that video. Um, but I thought I'd give you a little recap and show you guys some of the awesome, some of the awesome swag we got at the bat mitzvah. So first of all, kippa, and then inside it is um, has like the date and all the information, which is very common. And then there's also this little insert for kippa clip. I have not seen that before. Very cool. Okay, then they had a photo booth. How cute! There's me and Zachy. There's Andrew and the kids. Um, my mother-in-law, sister-in-law, me and the boys. So much fun. And then, this was so cool. They did sweatshirts um, with the like logo. I, I was gonna say this is very like common to do sweatshirts. It's not like very common, but it's like if you're gonna do something like this at the bat mitzvah, this is like one of the awesome cool things to do. So every kid got a sweatshirt and then they had people that were doing tie, not tie dyeing like, spray painting kids' names on them, which is so fun. So Zachary got one, Max, and Corey. So this was like a super fun, super over the top, like had everything kind of at mitzvah. There was a basketball game. Um, there was, what else was there? Just like so many games and fun things for the kids to do. Tons of like food and fun. One thing I, that I thought was one thing I thought was really interesting that I hadn't seen them before, but I think it's common now, is the cocktail hour. They had the adults, like had a traditional cocktail hour, and then the kids were already in the party room and could play all the games and do the photo booth and do the sweatshirt stuff, and the DJ was like doing stuff with them, and the kids gave speeches, so it's common to do like speeches at a bat mitzvah and so that all happened during the cocktail hour um we stuck in a little bit because we had kids with us i was like let's just sneak in it was just so cute to see that's why this awesome like lounge area where the games were the decor was just outstanding it was so cool um i had not been to a bat mitzvah like that in a really really long time like not since i was little <laughs> um it's, it was just really really fun um the dj was great and the kids had a great time there was so much food and everything 
so yeah super fun so excited about our sweatshirts and um just a really fun night i hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me and um whatever our pictures i could insert that i snuck on my phone and that's all give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it let me know if you want to see more i'll try to get invited to some more bar mitzvahs <laughs> and i'll see you guys in the next one bye